Hey, how's it going? It's currently 6.30 a.m. Saturday morning, 24th of February, and it's that time of the month again. It's community day number two, and this time it's featuring Dratini, which will appear a lot more commonly around parks and town area. So hopefully we're gonna catch a fair few. We've only 17 at the moment, and also the shiny variant is now available, which you can see here. So it's a pink Dratini, a pink Dragonair, and an odd looking green Dragonite. Also, if you evolve into Dragonite during the three hour window, which for us here in Ireland is from 10 to 1 p.m., it'll learn a special charge move, which is Draco Meteor. Not as good as Outrage, but has a very nice animation. Also, they do seem to be appearing as commonly as Pikachu. So that's pretty good news. Uh, for the last event, we got five shiny Pikachus. Uh, for this event in Asia, I'd seen one guy within one hour catching 100 teeny and five of those uh, shiny Dratini, so that's quite good. Um, so hopefully you can catch at least one. Um, best case scenario would be to catch three of them and hopefully have enough candies to get two Dragonites, one with Draco Meteor and one with Outrage. So we'll see how we get on. So, gotta have a shower, uh, gotta pack, we're gonna bring a bag. Today um, we've got our um, charge bank, fully charged. Um, extra one, uh, fully charged as well. I've got our AirPods fully charged. I've also got the watch fully charged because I want to get proof that the shiny Pokemon do actually appear on the watch uh, just before you catch them, uh, which will be, could be quite handy today when we're on the shiny hunt. If we see one pop up on the watch, then we know the ones nearby are going to be um, shiny. Um, but we're going to catch them all um, because it's routine. So let's see how we get on.
how's it going? So we're just back from our second ever Pokemon Gold Community Day featuring Dratini and we've walked from 10 a.m. up to 1 p.m. We started off in the town centre doing a couple of laps. We did manage to catch three shinies within 10 minutes, which was fantastic. And then we walked to the local park to do a couple of laps. We're actually much luckier last time with Shiny Pikachu in the local park and the graveyard across the road. This time very, very quiet. Um, so we headed back into town for the last hour of the event and then to finish we headed back to the park to collect our car. We ended up with five shinies which was fantastic news. Uh, we did evolve one of our Dratinis into a Dragonair and then a Dragonite to get to Draco Meteor move and then we evolved one Dratini into a Dragonair. So we have all three of them and we have two spare. Um, very very enjoyable event. A lot of trainers out and bumped into some new trainers as well which is fantastic. So now it's just up to see what Pokemon will feature for Pokemon Go Community Day number three. So a lot of people seem to think it'll be a Magikarp. Not sure who I'm actually hoping for, um, but whatever it is, wait and see. So for now, we currently have our shiny Dragonite as the top CP, a Dragonair, Dustlops, and uh, then our two Dratinis. So we're doing quite well. And then here's the bottom few. So we're doing quite well shiny wise. And then next month, we'll see which one we shall get. Thanks for watching and talk to you soon.